Hi. Well, bias is a big issue in business at the moment, and you often hear it banded around. And this series is all about bias. So we're going to be talking about bias in general, confirmation bias, and first impressions, and how bias plays out in that. And wrapped up in all of that is how it affects menopausal women. Because my name's Kate Usher, I'm a menopause coach and change strategist, and I'm on a mission to change and employers view women of menopausal age and beyond. So let's get on with today's video. The, today's video is the first in the series. So let's talk about what bias actually is. Well, bias is a completely natural human state because it's a way that your brain manages the amount of information comes into it in every moment of every day and it does that to enable it to conserve energy because in every single moment you're you get a massive sensory input of information so everything that you see everything that you hear taste taste touch and feel is coming in at you in every single moment and your brain literally would be completely overloaded if it took into account every single piece of information. So what your brain does is it creates filters and those filters chunk that information down into small bite-sized pieces, which mean it goes, oh, okay, when this happens, I know what I need to focus on, so I'm just gonna focus on this piece of information here. And you can see that, how that A um, conserves energy, but B equally, how it can cut out vital information about the way the world is changing and the way our perceptions are in a modern uh, business and social environment. So how do we change that? Well, there's three things that you need to take into consideration. Firstly, to be aware of it and to be watching this video means you're aware of bias in the first place. So if you're aware that you may have been thinking about things in a way that is no longer fitting with who you are or the way that you live or the way that you behave or the way that you interact with people. And, and that changes as society changes and as we grow up and change as well. So, First of all, you've got to be aware and you're here, so I'm guessing you are. Then it's about uh, creating or finding information rather that is uh, that proves or disproves um, the way that you're thinking. So alternative information. And then um, finally, it's about replacing that information. So you take away the old beliefs and you replace them with new beliefs, new sets of information, new thinking and new ways of being. And in a nutshell, that's what it is. And it's about that continuous nature of growing and expanding and changing who you are. Now, much of bias, it needs to be said, comes from our childhood and um, our younger life. So it's from our communities and it's the stories that we're told. So our society, community, family, school-based stories all feed in to the way that we behave, think and believe. So if you think about it, it's completely possible that we change from the way that we were um, when we were younger people or children. But some bias carries on from generation to generation, it's part of the structure of families and it's rarely questioned. But as I say, if you follow those three steps to recognizing it, confirming the new thoughts and replacing it, then you can change any of the bias that you have today. And that's a fantastic thing. And that is equally what is so amazing about being a human being. So the next video is all about how that works within the environment of menopause and the impact that that has on menopausal women. Please subscribe, leave your messages. See you next time. Bye.